Okay, we're going to be looking at labels now. Um, this is a topic which doesn't come up that often, but does occasionally. So I thought I'd start off by showing you what the finished labels will look like. So this is basically the result of a query. The query is called sample. And I've got the results of the queries uh, displayed as a separate label. And I've added the title, which I've center aligned with a bold red writing. I've got my details at the bottom, even type my name there with a small letter, doesn't matter. And then I've got the results of the record, of each record being displayed with a label which I've created. So board identification B1. B1 here is what's in the query. The term board identification, I type that in so that the, whoever's reading the label knows what B1 actually is. And same here, Ash Olive, the label type of tree I placed that. So let's go ahead and create this. So I'm going to delete this label and we'll create it again from the beginning. Oh, cancel, not that one. I want to delete the label. There we go. So let's delete that one. Yes. Uh, yeah, save those changes and now I can just go ahead and cut that. That's gone. So before we actually create a, a label, we need to create a query. Here's the query I've made. These are the results of the query. Um, we've covered queries already, so I'm not going to go into this. But basically what's really important with labels is this. Once you've created your query, you have to save it. Because if I don't have my query selected, up here when I go to create, if I click on labels, it's going to create the label based on this table. So I need to be able to select my query and then say labels. And this will produce the labels based on what you've got selected here. So the query must be saved. So I'm going to click on labels. And the first thing is to um, decide on how many columns my page is going to be. In the exercise I just showed you, the, the completed labels, I had three columns. And if they tell you two columns or four columns, you simply go from this area here and you go, you scroll up and down. Anything here where it says number across, that's the number of columns. So any one of these would do. Now, usually they will ask for two, but um, and you can just choose the first one. I wanted to do three. And you can see the size of the label here. So this one will be, let's say, if I chose three, it will be 21 millimeters by 15. That's only two centimeters by uh, 1.5 centimeters. So I went all the way down to this one here. That's a bit. This one's about uh, six and a half centimeters by four centimeters nearly. And that, that's good enough for me. Um, I'm going to go to next. And uh, now I'm not going to worry about any of all this. I'm just going to go to next again. And here, I'm, this is my label. This is what the label is going to look like, what we're going to put on. So I'm going to type my title, tree to board limited. It's just a made up company I've made. Then after that, I'm going to leave a blank line. And I, I can do this because I've got enough lines here. Uh, I'm going to leave board identification. Now this is just my label. This doesn't mean anything. Let's do that. And after that, I'm going to add the information from the field board ID. Okay, so that's just the label which I'm putting in, and this is going to be the data. Go to the next line. I can press enter or down. That makes no difference. I'm going to put type. Let's make it nice and neat this time. Type of tree. And again, I'm going to add this field after that. And then I've got location. I think location says it all. Space. And then cost per volume. Cost per volume. And that cost is going to go there. And I don't have a space here, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to put my, my details. Center number. And my ID number, let's say my candidate number, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's basically my label. I'm going to go to next. I can uh, arrange the sorting. So if I want to sort by board ID, I can put that. Next. That's it. My labels are now finished. And there's my preview of my label. Okay. Now, as soon as I close the preview, just like any other um, report, you can go to the view mode, which looks like that, or you can go to the design view. Okay, now you notice here when I go to view mode, it doesn't have it in 
in columns, and that's normal. If I go to pre preview though, it actually shows them in columns. So that's what's important. When I print, it's going to look like that. So I'm going to go to the design view and just quickly modify this. I'm going to select this, my title, click on home, make it red, bold, center aligned, and make that font a little bit bigger, say 11, and then choose my name, bold, I wanted that right aligned, and there's my label. Now again, I don't see the columns. If I go to print preview, there we go. So labels are very, very easy. The only thing you really need to think about and remember is make sure you create your query and save the query. Then the label will be uh, enabled, uh, the label function at the top. So without selecting that, this isn't enabled. And that's basically it. Um, good luck.